Hello guys! Finally have a day off. I get to relax, make videos for my lovely little friends on YouTube, and I get to play this sexy art style game again called Don't Starve. Are you all ready for day two? Nami, are you ready? I don't think you are, because it's about to get seriously messed up. I'm gonna start slaying shit. I like, ah. And just if you didn't realize, I completely forgot to say last video that this game is on Chrome. Um, I'm not sure when or if they'll be doing a Steam related release, but I do know it's on Chrome for now. It's, it's still in beta, so anything could go any way, really. <laughs> and... I have got a little thing to show you. I think it's over here. I just had a little goosey. Um, uh, just like I had a little walk around on my level, then quit. Because obviously it sleep saves at night. So I just thought I'd try and find something interesting. Because there is little stuff like this. Is a graveyard. Uh, that you can dig up the graves, but I'm not going to do it right now because I don't. I haven't researched a log suit which will keep me alive but um, while you're here you can get like gold nuggets they just like, randomly all over the floor for some weird reason I'm not actually even sure why but yeah there's gold nuggets um, they don't really have a use at the minute but they're worth 10 research points and it's like quite expensive for, for like top hats 900 so getting these really does help you on your way uh, but the first thing we will be going to research probably would be either the log suit the magical farm plot I completely skipped the advanced farm because wow it's a hundred research points different and that grows any food that just grows vegetables GG it's like so OP why would you even bother going to it so we need to finish getting our science machine so that means choppy choppy woody so just cut down a couple of trees get your boards I'm really sorry about my bunged up nose it seems to always happen when I want to make a video I have asthma and hay fever so yeah it's not gonna be fun the rest of my life Oh yeah, and do you know where do we set this fire off? I kind of did a boo-boo. Um, the forest was huge that I set on fire. I mean, huge. Like, most of my map is that forest, and I just set it on fire. So, <laughs> kind of screwed me over there. Because that would have been good to go through my pig but as I said it will all start to regrow in a week and a, a lot of the people uh, that play this game don't actually know if you use the uh, the arrow keys you can spin your camera around the only problem is it does disorientate you so make sure you press it the same amount of times back so that you keep it all facing the right way uh, to get on your map it's tab I just that's north, south, and you just, they're not on it yet, they might put it in in the game because people have been asking for it, but, you know, it's not hard to go, yep, that's north, I need to eat. One thing I should make is a trap, which I'll show you a really easy way to catch rabbits, I'm, I'll leave that one there, we need six grass. So I'm gonna need some food. But traps are a really good way to get food. You probably won't need to catch many rabbits before you start having an infinite supply of res like resources and food, because that so OP. Like it doubles your food. You plant any food, and it'll give you two back. So what you want to do is don't go too close to the rabbit. You don't have to set it over the hole. Just set the trap and then bait it with the carrot, and the rabbit will automatically start walking to it. 
just go off, do whatever you want, just collect some shit and come back to it later. I mean, it's going to take him some time to walk into it anyway, so you might as well do shit while you're waiting. So I'm just going to finish this research chisel. Just cut one more tree down. Don't want to get too close to rabbits, so I'll chop this one down. <sighs> Oh yeah, <laughs> in the last video I kept saying I'm only going to make two axes, well actually I need two axes for the start and then three, I think it's three to actually get the wood to build the pig house. So once I've got my pig house I I'll, I'll, won't be making many more. So that gives you a morsel. What you want to do now is take the morsel back to your campfire. I keep calling it campfire, it's not campfire, it's a fire pit same difference really uh, light this baby up using your charcoal cook and eat it oh that was good yeah oh, I've got enough wood I need one more you burk it that's a word I'll say a lot just ignore me if you're not from Leicester you won't know what it is yeah that's where I'm from by the way if none of you knew <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and make this research machine and we're gonna do some really cool stuff overnight make sure you place it so it's not gonna cover your pit because wherever you click to build it it will place it straight down and there it is there forever you can't move it so what you want to do is go ahead and sling all your gold nuggets in really easy research points I'm gonna have like 180 just from nuggets uh, pretty much everything you just pick up with one click is one research point any of the resources that you actually have to build something to get like boulders and trees will cost five research points crafted items will give you more but if you've used them so say if they have a less percent like a hundred percent pickaxe will give me more research points if I put it into the research machine than say a 76 percent one so don't think that oh my pickaxe is on one percent I'll just fling it in get the same research points and do that no it doesn't work they they all are percentage based as well and the like it scales harder down so it's either hundred percent or nothing pretty much Let's fling these two more in right hundred and fifty so far we can research a razor which we don't need until like day seven because there's no point shaving now. Uh, bug net, the fireflies are pretty useless at the minute. You literally catch them and then you can place them down to make it like glow through the day which makes it look... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Makes it look a bit prettier. Oh well. Oh well. It's not hard to get research points. But yeah, during the night, just if you can mine that's why we're just putting it close uh, if you're having trouble with light then just make a torch if I don't have any grass yeah seeds uh, seeds drop from birds the way to get them to drop them is run towards the bird really really quickly like if he's just landed get to him fast then he'll drop seeds basically he's not finished eating so you're stealing their food <laughs> last time I played this through and had like 37 days like I was just had seeds everywhere because for some awkward reason birds were just flying next to my camp and like while well, in the middle of the night look if you get to them quick enough oh not quick enough um, I just literally had seeds everywhere hey guys that was all for day two Make sure you catch day three shortly. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Because you know you love me. Sonic's out.